Buddy, the Kendrick concert. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, yes. did you guys watch the whole thing? I'm yes. only seeing clips. Yes, it was Yo, the whole thing. I didn't watch the whole thing before. I watched Kendrick's whole thing. Okay, before we get into mm. discussing the 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 whole concert, is has has Drake ever been down this bad? Never even close. Never mm. even close. Mm. I thought it would just go away. Mm. Yeah, the concert reignited. Holy, big time. just seeing all those people. Also, like the cosign from the famous people. Oh, dog. When he shouted out YG and Family Matters, which ever, like, yep. I'm obviously a Drake hater, but everybody's saying that's the best song. People who love Drake are like, that's the best song in the whole disc. You're gonna listen to it now, and one of the first few bars is, you know who really bang a set? My N word, YG. Yeah. And then YG it's is happy. dancing on your fucking grave at the concert. You're never gonna listen to that song the same. 100%. And that's the only song he was proud of. 100%. I think it's the only one he didn't take down, right? Mm. Or did he take down all of them? No, I think he only took down the hard part. No, he apparently took down more. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. No, he took only initially he took down the Tupac shit, and then I think he also took he took down. Wait a minute, he's shit. taken down. He took that took song? down the AI track. But I thought that was for legal reasons. Okay, maybe. Yeah. Right. And now he's like, the, apparently he's taken a few down. Really? But yeah, point is, it's just he's never been close to. Is that down a true thing or an Akash truth? It might be an Akash truth. <laughs> I'm starting to I, think I, it's I an know Akash. the Tupac one he definitely took down, but the other ones, I'm not sure that he took them down. Push ups is still up. Um, those, those are the only ones I can see on Spotify. Yep, so maybe. Push ups and then Family Matters. Was there, it was Push ups, Family Matters. Was there one more? It was the response to. Hard Part Six. Yeah, it was the, he, he did one more after Not Like Us. Or, yeah, Hard Part hard Six. Part. And he took that down? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. so he did take it. So I this is, well, this is, the, I don't know if this is real or not, but the Drake song. deletes all the Kendrick song. Lamar diss songs, question mark. So it, it definitely, uh, people were theor like, theorizing yeah. that it happened. Mm -hmm. the so do we know if Hard Part 6 is still up? It's, it appears not. It looks like he, it's not on Spotify. It's up as like a podcast. It's like someone else uploaded it, uh, but it's not on his like official account. Hmm. Wow. And then I think he pulled it off Instagram. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. He, Drake's down bad. He's I down mean. bad. But I feel like I he's know. a hit away from being back. I don't. I don't. I don't. Dude, like, this has changed the climate. It changed how people... Drake will always will. sell records. Drake is a pop star. Yeah. To be fair, that's what Kendrick said. I like you as. Keep making me dance, waving my hands. Mm -hmm. But as a rapper, greatest ever. To me, as like... Maybe I'm applying too many comic rules to it. But if you don't write your own stuff, automatically you're not. But people were still putting them there. Mm -hmm. Now I don't think they do. Mm -hmm. I just don't think there's anything you can really say except I like him. That makes him the best ever. Mm -hmm. And he's definitely not done. His career's not done. Not done. He's going to sell crazy right now. I think he needs to take a little break. Like, don't put out anything for the rest of the year. Dude, he put out a song, I think, a few days ago, I think, with Juan Juan Delilah. Juan yeah, Juan Delilah was no, a No, he danced one with Camila Cabello or whatever. That <laughs> really? Camila Cabello. That's what Grand Wizard said. Oh, shit. I saw, I know he did the feature on... I don't know if he put Red it song. out. I think that they were saying he was going to drop something. Drop something. Fair, Fair enough. Yeah. Take a break. But yeah, I think he, he should take a break. Take wow. Him wow. and Cole. Because. I saw Cole on the street. Really? Yeah. Whereabouts? Here? And, uh, yeah. Huh. Walking down. How he looking? Peaceful? Fine. Tall. Peace intact. Mm. On a bike or just walking? Walking. Hell yeah. Yeah, just walking. Doug. Yeah. So, you know. By himself. The... Loved that. Wow. Yeah, I love that. But also, that's what he's protecting by not being involved in this. Well, apparently, Schoolboy Q also... Drake before. can't walk around. Sorry to cut, but yeah. like, Drake can't walk around by himself. Mm. Yeah, but I just feel like J. Cole's so big of an artist where he'll get stopped crazy. If he's but always been like getting this. Getting stopped is different than being threatened. Oh, yeah. I don't think he has anything to worry about. That, but that's that what way. he's protecting. Like, oh, by gotcha, not gotcha. engaging in the beef, like, you could mess with some people that are friends with this guy and, you know, they want to make Kendrick feel like he's the man and they, they might be tangentially related. And they're like, yo, I'm going to bang on Cole. Gotcha. And I think, and I respect that, like, saving that piece, like, saving mm -hmm. your, your... Well, apparently Schoolboy Q told him before the Cole, whatever... It's going to get messy. He, he was like, don't. Out. Yeah, yeah. Just, don't do this. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't uh, know. Yeah, but I just thought I thought that was cool. I mean, it worked out well. Like, yeah, very well. And now I remember in early on, I was like, dude, Kendrick's gonna take on both of these guys. And now I'm like, Kendrick could have taken on both <laughs> Easily. of these guys. Easily. Probably. My respect. Well, hey, look, I was never the biggest Kendrick fan, and I'm not I loved him as like I loved control. I love that he wanted to be the best, but I also knew his music was not for it's 
he's for his culture. God bless. But I'm not going to like be this huge stand of it just because mm-hmm. it's not for me. God, I love what you're doing. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to participate in it. You don't even care if I do. But I, the way he moved in this, I, my respect for him is through a fucking roof, dude. Mm. Unbelievable the way he navigated this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, strategy-wise. Pretty- so if you're still like, if you're, let's say you're still banging for Drake, you just love Drake right now. What is the angle? Here's what they're saying. Kendrick needed Drake to stay relevant. He was irrelevant, but that's not really true because yeah. I was looking into this. Apparently the Mr. Morale tour that we all thought was his flop album is one of the biggest hip hop tours of all yeah. time. Yeah. I think at the time it was the biggest. Maybe Drake took it this time. Yeah. But so he didn't need you to stay relevant. He just, ha- I think he's hated him for years and was like, this is the time. Man. But like, what do you do? Like our boys, we have boys that like love Drake and they're riding for Drake. Yeah. Academics, I'm, I'm Randy. Drake fan. I'm yeah. Still gonna like, enjoy the music. Like, keep that's six not solid. Stop. Like yeah. they're, they're really they love Drake and they're riding for him so hard. Like you want that loyalty. I imagine like as someone who's puts out content, like I want people to ride for me like that. Yeah. Like that, that shit means the world. Yeah. But is there ever a conversation where it's just like, okay, this is an L and we're just throwing more salt by continuing to like kind of bring things up. Mm. Maybe we just need to pivot, move away. Like, you're not going to change any hearts or minds anymore. People have made their decision on who won this. So by continuing to like bring things up and throw salt, not on the wound, but just like illuminate it, you might just continually be reminding people, oh, Drake took this L. Maybe it'd be smarter to just kill a story with another story. Meaning, Uh if Drake's doing some other cool shit, highlight that. Oh, he's producing this movie. Oh, he's here's this new song, whatever. Stop getting out of the, I'm going to tarnish... Uh, Kendrick any way I can like there was that whole thing everybody was talking about the bots yeah and this is like that also apparently wasn't real okay let's say it was real or it wasn't real no. the song slaps yeah yeah, yeah. and it, you can't you, you look at the concert you go it's not bots like, the concert like, sold it, out like let's be real it's probably a combination of what Russ said like when you have a song that's bots. already taken off you, you inflate extra. it 100% mm-hmm. yeah. I 100% think they did Definitely. it I 100% think like as Russ said all these artists do it yeah uh but even if even if it was proven that it was done for this amount, it doesn't stop the song yeah. from being a cultural institution. The yeah. bots ain't make it a cultural institution. The music being a bop made it that. Yeah. You could put as many bots as you want behind all of Drake's distance towards Kendrick. Kendrick still wins. Yeah. Those people that you say like are Drake riders and they're still like kind of flaming, um, adding fuel to the flame. It's almost like the people in Democratic Party are like, Yo, look how alert Biden is. Like they're trying to mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. try to lie, and then you just remind us how not. Like, exactly. Yeah. Tell us something else Biden yeah. did. Tell yeah. us about the reform. Like that's the angle. And these are the homies. Yeah. So, but I'm just like, and and you want people to ride for you that hard. Like that's the thing. Like, and, and when you go through troubled times, the fact that there are people out here that are like fighting for you and like protecting you, mm-hmm. that's. The most amazing thing in the fucking world. Yeah. Because it's easy to like someone when they're on top. Drake is obviously experiencing this right now. Yeah. When he's on top, everybody's like, oh, the boy, the great, da, da, da. And then he goes through this. And now most people are like, oh, Kendrick's the fucking man, blah, blah. And then you have your real core fans that are riding for you. But I think that it's, I think that it, the battle is lost. Elevate in other ways. <laughs> yeah. That's kill, my kill story that with point. Story. What's that? Kill the story with a story. Yeah, exactly. Like, to that others. point. The, the, I think this concert is crazy either way, but you could make the point that every, academics, Grandy, all these guys constantly trying to say Drake won, gave it just enough life that it carried into the concert, and now we got momentum going into the concert. Whereas if everybody just kind of left it alone, the concert happens, it's still going to be a historic moment, all that, but not like, hmm. you could argue I'll be this honest. added, again, like you said, fuel to it where it just blew up even more. I'll be honest with you, bro. I thought this shit was done. I thought we were moving on. It was over. That concert... Hmm. reignited itself. Oh Has there ever God. been a disc concert before? Holy no. shit. It was unbelievable. I love it a so disc much. concert? Unbelievable. Yeah. This was crazy. This was nuts. And, and now like, this mute, sorry, go. Every different gang is on stage, like uniting the gangs in Compton, like all the celebrities and shit. It was like a real moment for LA. Yeah. It felt, or not even only LA, just like West Coast music. Yeah. Like it, it was almost as if they felt like not recognized for years. They hadn't been. 
that relevant outside yeah. of Kendrick. Mm. Kendrick says it. He was like, yo, uh, L.A. hasn't been the same since Kobe died, since well, um, Nipsey died, since yeah. Nipsey died. So it's like they have probably felt like something's been missing. And this was the spark that they needed. Like vengeance. Yeah, because they used to be. And I heard somebody say this, like, remember, there was a time where you almost every song on the radio was a mustard beat. Yeah, mm. they had a oh, yeah. crazy run. Yeah, <laughs> it was game, and then mustard came right after, and they were on a crazy run. So yeah, yeah. this was so it was in a, in a lot of ways a perfect storm. Yeah. You know, uh, but yeah, so okay. Imagine being Drake. <laughs> imagine being Drake on Juneteenth. Oh my god! I bet you he's calling all his friends just to make sure he's not hearing that concert playing in the back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You're like, yo, I'm just calling check it out. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I but, mean, yeah, dude. I thought all the songs that Kendrick dropped are good in the diss. Euphoria to open with was crazy. Yeah, he set the tone. Set the, to open with is just fucking crazy. Mm. And then he plays every song, and other people pointed this out, but he played songs you didn't realize he's talking about Drake, uh, but he was talking about Drake. So DNA. The subs. Use a bitch, your hormones probably switch inside your DNA. You keep listening to that, you're like, oh, I think he's talking about Drake. Mm. And then there's another song I think where he talks about like, uh, you can come film. You're gonna come to my city without checking in with me. Whatever the fuck, yeah. uh, element I think it's called yeah. or something. But wow. like, remember Drake filmed that video in Compton? That was his sub back to Drake about that. He played songs specifically that had a lot of songs that had Drake subs in them. Yeah. And now you're listening to them and you're like, oh, this guy's been talking to Drake oh. for years. Yeah. So, this is this is really interesting to me. The concert goes crazy. Yeah. He's filming the music video. Yeah. The music video is going to go fucking it's bananas. It's going to be bonkers, dude. The summer, it's usually Drake time. Yeah. Is now, yeah. at least the beginning of it, completely Kendrick. And he's going to be able to milk and push yeah. this. I mean, if Kendrick drops an album this summer. Yeah, this is his year. Imagine like, he drops an is, album this, this summer. Yeah. What is Drake going to do? You can't just drop a little single. That's not going to squash. Yeah. Yeah, no. and also the pressure on the single that Drake drops Bro. is monumental. If you drop and flop, huh. the pressure on both on Drake and Cole yeah, right now. There's they also so much pressure. I'm not even. I don't even think people are thinking about Cole. Like if, they are. Look at when he put that song out. Gripping. They were making fun of him. But, but people always make fun of him. They always say, "No, nah, like, like that." But it's not. It's not <laughs> the same. There's, there's pressure on him. You know what I mean? This is not Mark. Yeah, <laughs> he is. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's pressure on him. But if you clown it, people are just gonna be like, "Yeah, but he stepped away from the battle." Like, what are you really gonna say? Drake called for this. Yeah. And then when Kendrick wasn't dropping. Kept calling for it. Yeah. Mm. Nah, 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 you following through. And he made it worse because, like, during the battle, he's like, I get more love in LA than you. And then Kendrick Show. So that was another thing. Everything Kendrick backfired. Him. Who got who gets way more love? That was nuts. Having Dre come out. Son, the a, icy a little, dead people. Yeah. That was bonkers. Yeah. Wait, a, little, a little tone deaf, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Just yeah, that's true. There's <laughs> some allegations against Dr. Dre that that was one thought I think a lot of us had. It's yeah. like, this is really fun, but if we're going to. If abuse is being thrown around now, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dre's probably not. See what Ice Cube is doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a little. I know Snoop is on tour. Hey, hey Cube, you here? <laughs> Would love for you to handle this for me. No Vaseline and all. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do no Vaseline. That would be crazy. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I was curious go. to see the people who weren't there though. Okay. I, I, because when he said, when he announced the tour, he was like, oh, it's going to be Kendrick and Friends. So everybody's speculating, oh, who is he going to bring yep. out? Like, people are speculating, oh, he'll bring out Rihanna and all these, like, big name people. And I would have definitely thought Snoop would be there, but Snoop's on tour, couldn't make it. But Game not being there surprised me. Do they not beef? Well, I think Game beefs with, beef with Dre. And then uh, also Game was kind of like, Drake is my homie during this thing. And I think Kendrick, I thought initially, people on Twitter were quick to correct me, but I thought initially he didn't have Snoop up there for that reason. That Snoop wasn't like, why the fuck are you using AI, my voice and AI, hey. pop's voice. But apparently he was just on tour. But I think Kendrick was like, if you're playing both sides and you're, you're, we're not doing that, this, mm. this ain't that time. Mustard is coming out. We're going to let everyone know where your loyalties yeah, lie. Yeah. You're going to shout out YG in the song. Come, let's see what time it is. YG's on this fucking stage. Yeah. Like, Le LeBron was there. Dog, that was the that was the nail in the coffin. Yeah, I mean, it, as long as LeBron wasn't on stage, but that says something. Here's the thing: because like I even wanted to be at the show. Who but. was on stage that was in L.A.? I think that was also by design. Yeah, who was on stage that wasn't West Coast at least? 
Truthfully, everybody, we don't know all those people, but we're just assuming that they're I mean, the way he's saying it yeah. is this is every section coming out, every gang. We're all uniting on yeah. this stage. Russell Westbrook is L.A. D- uh, fucking DeMar DeRozan. That I was know. brilliant, too. I know. To sh- to, I'm glad DeRozan came home. Y'all didn't deserve him neither. Yep. That was also your homie. Remember, they were in a sketch together, yep. Drake and DeMar DeRozan. DeMar's up there dancing. Uh, I mean, everybody. I was surprised WAC 100 isn't there. He's supposedly... This guy was super tapped into gang culture in LA, and surprised he wasn't there. Mm. Like hmm. there, there's certain people where it's like they were left out, and I think it just shows LA doesn't really fuck with them. Wow! Oh shit! Wow. You saying you don't think LA fucks with whack? I don't think they fuck with whack. I don't think they fuck with game because they do like a lot of like silly shit where it's like people are just like, ah, you're doing too much. And <sighs> I think it, it got to the point where it's just like, yo, you over there. I'm so detached. Like, I, I mean, I was never attached, but like, I know so little mm-hmm. that I basically assume the loudest voices are the most connected with things that I don't know much about. Mm-hmm. So, you would think. Yeah. Right. So, like, since he's such like an ambassador for like LA gang culture, yeah. whack, I'm like, oh, he must be like one of the top OGs out yeah. there. But you're saying that. Yeah. Wow. That's so interesting. You would, think would have to be in the building the way he talks about how he's connected with the gangs. That's, mm. that's really interesting. Did you but, talk to Taylor at all? Did she did she go? She did go. I didn't talk to her. Oh, I would love to know, yeah. dude. I'm dying to know. Brilliant's gonna be fired this week. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> you watched it live. Did you watch it live? No. You didn't I watch it. I just saw live. a clip so. Doing it live is so smart though. Oh, it's incredible. Bro. And it was so good. Son, I had a spot, so I missed some of his concert. Mm-hmm. I'm coming home. I'm texting my wife. Turn on fucking Amazon right now. <laughs> like, I'm coming home. I'm not missing any of it. You need to see what's happening right now. It was after I see dead people. Everybody goes crazy. Then he just stops after the first verse. And then y'all gonna let him disrespect our heroes, blah, blah, blah. Hits it again. Doesn't. Barely raps a fucking word. Let's the, the audience take raps, the yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Crazy. And then just do it again and again and again. Did you think the outfit was on purpose? I didn't know if the outfit. I my no, initial read definitely on purpose. Were you, it was so, a Pac homage. Yeah, you thought? yeah, it was Pac during the '94 um, Source Awards. She had the same outfit. And that's the, is that yeah. the Source Awards where Snoop went up there and was like, "We know y'all East Coast. We know where we are." I, it might have been that one. If I'm that, sure. then that makes sense. Yeah. Because then that was that was like a West Coast East Coast yeah. thing. I initially thought the outfit being simple was like another shot at Drake is not. Oh no, no. not one it's of us. Like, Drake has the most. At, it's almost the uh, outfit's almost identical. Oh, the feelers. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, that's where I was like, why didn't you just go feelers? Go all the way through. I know. Yeah, that's weird. Nike because Shocks is also Nike so funny. Shocks is funny. That's somebody was like, I searched for those on Twitter, on, so, on Google, and my phone blew up or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Nike Shocks immediately on StockX, like 2X. That's they were great shoes. I don't know yeah, why they stopped making them. Yeah. Because you saw people claiming it was a hotline bling. That, I believe. It's too similar. The dance that he did as he did the uh, A minor. Uh, it's even the leg shake. That's when I was like, oh, this is intentional. Kendrick is doing the leg shake with it. I didn't catch that one. That's good. I but mean, yeah. even the chain, he doesn't usually wear chains like that, but he had like this big um, uh, cross and I think Pac had it on during that show. Oh, and that, okay, was, made, okay, okay. that was made by uh, Ben Baller, who's like- Oh you know, yeah, no, you're right. LA legend yeah, I in see terms it. of drill. My drill, initial so. thought was- like, and maybe- So much detail in every little aspect of that show. The fun thing about applying detail to things is that people will start to look for details where you didn't even apply it. Mm. Like yeah. everything now has meaning. Yeah. When you put hidden meaning. Yeah. yeah. And I think that there are certain things that are in the lyrics that he didn't even mean oh, for yeah, them to I be. Agree. <laughs> that the the critics or the reviewers have projected onto them. Yeah. So now it seems even more. Oh, artistic. dude, the funniest one. And again, I'm a guy who really respects Kendrick after this. He has a line of euphoria. Where he's like, uh, he's feeling like Joel Hale Austin or something like that. Oh, really? And he said, funny, he was in a film called Sixth Sense. There, he's mixing Haley Joel. Osman and Joel Austin for these reasons. Let me tell you something. You guys don't know black people. Black people don't know white people's names. They get them wrong all the time. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, just yeah. doesn't know who the fuck is who. Yeah. He thinks Joel Austin and Haley Joel Osman are the same person. Yeah. What are y'all even talking about? I uh, that was a fuck up. There's no fucking chance <laughs> yeah. he's That's that. No. Funny. Yeah, yeah. This guy right here. Oh yeah, this I want to hear it. Come on. Barry the bar explainer. Freaky come ass neighbor. He's a 69 god. Let's this start with that one, D-Lo. Funny Freaky ass neighbor. You're a Neighbor's 69 great. god. He a fan, he a fan, he a fan. F-A-N. Fan. Freaky ass neighbor. That mm. I think we knew, right? It's no, an yeah. acronym. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Certified lover boy. Certified, certified pedophile. Why did he say pedophile, not file? 
Well, what is OVO, Seely? Uh, owl. Pet foul. Foul. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Trying to strike a chord, and it's probably A minor. Now, <laughs> the obvious studio. breakdown, A minor. minor. It's like a chord, but also A minor because allegations. But the deeper meaning, Kendrick has called Drake a white boy. Well, the A minor scale is the only minor scale that only oh, has white, white keys. keys. <laughs> oh! Uh, black keys. See, hey, white people have a place to rap. All right? <laughs> this is important. It's so funny. Is she being serious or is this a joke? Well, the no, fan thing is, is the, real. This, this is, is the show. They break down bars. It's called Bar Wars. <laughs> oh, Fire, right? Yeah. That's Fire. a great name, actually, Bar Wars. <laughs> yeah, that's just, so wrong. Yeah, so a lot of it, that's been happening the whole battle. Like, yeah, people, yeah. I thought that shit was for sure a Drake hotline bling mm. thing. Uh, I thought the outfit, I my initial read, if, tell me if there's anything to this. He's the whole time he's saying Drake is not one of us. Drake is wearing fucking octopus outfits and shit on stage. And he's like, I'm going to go out there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this guy dressed like a fucking Spider-Man when he goes out on stage. And Kendrick's like, I'm going out there in a hoodie and a baseball cap and jeans and sneakers. And that's it. Mm. And a chain. Uh, but also it was crazy performance wise. No backing track. And so, yeah, yeah, it's somebody else shit. pointed this out. He didn't drink water the whole time. Yeah. I can't do a 30 minute set sitting on a stool without drinking water. <laughs> this guy's rapping his ass off, no backing track, no water. Yeah, that's crazy. So if you're if you're on Drake's strategy team, what do you do? Take the summer off? I drop think it out. You might need to, because here's what Kendrick also did. Sorry, one more thing. He just played this, he stretched this out so beautifully. The Juneteenth concert was like a month and a half almost after. May 4th, I think, was my birthday. He dropped Not Like Us. What a gift I got. <laughs> Month and a half. He doesn't do anything. Then a concert. That concert's going to carry him. Then he's going to drop the video. They're editing the video right now. This concert's going to die out. He's going to drop the video. Then he just takes the whole summer. I could put a... I, could, I, I got it. Don't say hawk to it. It is that. <laughs> <laughs> I it is that. I said, I said. It is. He got to hook up with Hawk to it. No, no, no. <laughs> it, no, no, no. In all seriousness, uh, all he needs to do is get in a relationship. I mean that dead serious. There's nothing that people... Ooh. Yeah. There's nothing that... Music is powerful. It's not as powerful as relationships. Dark skin black girl. It could be. be. Dark skin Honestly, black girl. the more famous or the more intriguing the girl is, if he really wants to do it, he could like That's get a relationship with somebody's ex. Like the ideal scenario would be like him and Kim get in a relationship. Something. No, 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 no. What, I think we want to see growth from him, not do no, some no, 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 shit where what, he's like he's trying to get back at dudes and stuff. Well, here, here's what I would say is like, and I that's. I don't think people, in order to stop the momentum of this Kendrick thing, you just need to kill it with another story. That story doesn't need to be positive. It, we don't, let's say, I don't think that people like Drake's music less. I think his music is phenomenal. He's had two decades mm. of unbelievably awesome music. So Absolutely. it's not like we, it, it's just, there's this other person that's more badass at rapping. That's what it's looked like. So what you do is just need to do is get people talking about another thing. And I think that people love relationships. They love that drama. We haven't seen Drake in a relationship with somebody. He settles down with who, who, who names some people. I mean, Kim is the most obvious because there's the Kanye shakeup. Kanye is going to be bitching nonstop about it. Then they're going to go crazy. It might be a little expected. He could have a relationship with Taylor Swift. I mean, <laughs> take if, her from dude um. if he is in a relationship with oh I got another one for you you ready this shuts it down immediately Zendaya Drake dates Zendaya I don't even know I don't even think people realize the real Spider-Man villain like yeah. I said yeah. Yeah. there it is they not like us I don't even think people realize the music video came out if Drake is seen with Zendaya. People love relationships, man. They get obsessed with it. All these fucking dating shows, mm. all these housewife shows are really just about watching the drama of the relationship. Imagine, did you guys see the amount of publicity that came out of that uh, Vanderpump Rules shit? Mm. Yeah. Like, nobody even knows who these people are. They work at a restaurant for a living. Let me just get this they, point they out. They had me watching but like, it. <laughs> but watch it. but they, 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 they're servers at a restaurant for a living on a show. Like, it's not... But people are so obsessed with relationships and drama that you'll shut down everything else that's going on in entertainment to lock your eyes on this. I think Drake gets out of this through relationship. Yes, I'll go. Another option. Zendaya's in a relationship. Well, He's that's what makes it exciting. 
because he's taking her from uh, Tom yeah, Hall. Yeah. Yeah. You just want drama. You were like, now I, I don't yes, think that this colonize is colonize the colonizer. Yeah. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> I don't think this is a good thing. But what you have to, what I'm, what I'm suggesting is something that would stop the momentum mm. of mm. this Kendrick thing. And you're not going to stop it with music. I actually don't think, like, even if he comes out with the fucking an amazing song, I think right now the energy isn't there. You ever seen people in like a roast battle? Yeah. And somebody yes. says a funny joke about the other person, but because the momentum or energy just isn't it's a there, thing. Yeah. you're like, that's funny on paper, but, but it, we just decided yeah. we're not with you. But yeah. someone with a worse joke with the energy bang. wins. Yeah. And they, I, with the energy of the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are on your it's side. Just, yeah, it's, it. it's the energy of the room. Like, there's something just happening that's like outside of just the words that are put together. I think that's with music only. It's not a worse joke. Like Kendrick has great yeah. shit. So I think you have to completely change mm. what's happening. You, you don't fight the fire with fighter. Fire, fight with water. And mm. water is relationship. Mm. Shakari. That's, that's a, that's a, Shakari Richardson. Yo, Dave. Shakari Richardson would actually be crazy. Especially Sorry, since it's the Olympics. You're out there in Paris. You're watching her. Like, mm. this is the fucking disgusting shit agents and managers probably cook up all the time. Yeah. Here's, here's the thing. The goal is not to get people to like him. That's not the goal of the relationship. The goal is to get people to talk about and focus on another thing. The more dramatic the relationship, the better. If he dates like a likable person and is a kind of boring thing, it's even worse because people won't talk about it enough. But if he dates Michelle Obama, <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's over. Like nobody's <laughs> even talking about Kendrick, right? Yeah, yeah. Like that's, yeah. To the, you yeah, see what I'm saying? You like stir the pot. You're just stirring the pot, like, and and you're using it as a tool. Relationships garner the most intrigue. You see these couples come together. There are these like people where like the guy's kind of famous, the girl's kind of famous. All of a sudden, they cross pollinate their fans, and both of them fucking skyrocket the thing. Well, Taylor Swift already didn't need it, but what but it sure, this Travis, Travis and, and Taylor yeah. thing is a yeah. perfect example. Like, look at that. Travis Kelsey, who we all knew from football, has now become the most known football player on the planet by women. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So that type of... Yeah. So who do you date? But that's what I... It, listen, if... If I'm Drake's handler or whatever, and he's like, listen, the only thing I care about is my career, and this guy's fucking up my whole career, I'll do anything to save it. I'd say, yeah, you need a relationship, and it's got to be fucking toxic. And it's got to be <laughs> messy. It, it's and, messy. Like, yeah. it's got to be bad. Her ex got to be cursing on the internet. Like, Travis Kelsey's exes were talking shit about him dating Taylor. And that just amplified it. Everything is... Yeah. yeah, that's they took your BBL Dizzy idea, so maybe they'll take this one too. <laughs> they watch. And you it's might a good be, point. You might be right with Kim because oh. Kanye will talk. Kanye's oh, gonna Kanye go crazy. Will drive him nuts. Yeah. I mean, all the things like wasn't she at the Kendra concert? No, I don't think she was, but Northwest was, which yeah. is also funny. Who took Northwest? Yeah, <laughs> Kanye wasn't there. Kim wasn't there. Yeah, <laughs> show she had a nanny. Yeah. yeah. They got, yeah, they got some help. They yeah, got some yeah. That's so funny to be like, hey, Nanny, can you just take her to the concert? I don't 